It's important to get the right diagnosis of the type of headache you have because the treatments are all quite different. A tension type headache is felt throughout the head and it's usually a pressure-like pain and it's not associated with nausea, vomiting or any significant light or sound sensitivity. Tension type headaches by definition are mild and people self-treat and usually are fine. Another type of headache we see are cluster headaches. Now these are headaches which occur more commonly in men. They're always one-sided. They build up very quickly, usually over a few minutes, commonly around an eye, and they last up to two hours. A short one might be 20 minutes, a long one maybe two hours, and you may have more than one a day. People say it's as if a poker was put in my eye, and the behavior is completely different. In migraine, people want to go to bed, they want to hold still, in cluster, people can't hold still. They walk around, they pace, they bang their heads in the wall. Migraine's a syndrome, very, very common syndrome, usually having headaches, but not always having headaches, associated with light and sound sensitivity, nausea, sometimes vomiting. Well, migraines often occur over time, beginning with something called a prodrome, and prodromes can occur even a day before the attack. Many prodromes include cold hands and feet, frequent urination. Yawning is a very common prodrome. Then about 20% of people with migraine get an aura. And there are many kinds of auras. The most common are visual, and people can see stars or lights or have blind spots. That may last five minutes to an hour. And then commonly thereafter one gets a headache. And the headache classically is one-sided and throbbing and it's worse if you move around. And then after it's all over, and a migraine attack may last four to 72 hours, most of the time people are washed out. We call that a post drone, where your headache is largely gone, but you still don't feel well, and that can go on for days. Well, there's evidence that migraines can be progressive. So the more you have, the more you're gonna get. So people who have a significant amount of disability from migraines should try and seek medical care fairly early and see if they can be reduced in frequency and in severity.